Well, hey, we're all paying it. This sky-high price of fuel. Sales, therefore, of electric cars, it's kind of tempting. Trent knows more than anyone else about paying less for things. <laughs> <laughs> and he joins us now from drive.com.au. Great to see you, mate. How Hello, you? mate. Look, there's plenty on offer um, in the EV market. Uh, what cars do we have here? And then explain We've them. got a bit of a spread for you. So MG, one of the most affordable... It's new... snazzy. It is. It's a really That's good looking little car. Starts just under 40000 bucks. Then the most popular electric car in Australia at the moment, in 2023, Tesla Model Y. Starts in the mid-60s up to about 90000 And then... That's more Sarah's style at the end there, yeah. I think. Yeah, That's yeah, a yeah. Porsche Taycan. Uh, they well. started about 160 and go up to 360. If there was a bit more room, I might give that one a test run, but I just can't. I can't, <laughs> get, can't get it out of here. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, so a bit of everything. Bit of the spread. The, um, these two, I mean, obviously this one's pretty popular, the Tesla. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and there's been all sorts of um, competition slowly coming into mm. the market. When will it get to the point where the prices come down to something we can afford? I wish I had a crystal ball, because right. I'm always cautious to say that even though this MG behind us is one of the most affordable, it's still around 40000 yeah. bucks. And for a lot of Aussies, that's not affordable. A lot of people can't afford it. So I think it's going to be a few years yet, to make, to be honest. And the price, I mean, it, they retain their value, don't they, these cars? I think they are, absolutely, because there's generally a waiting list on mm. all of these. You know, uh, the MG4, you can get, but it's not that easy. Yeah. These two here, you're going to have to wait for them. Um, and therefore, the price of them secondhand retains I, I test drove um, Sarah's car at the end of the Porsche. <laughs> yeah, it is um, my car. And, and right. it was like, it was an absolute rocket. Yeah, they're fast. It was really fast. Mm. So, so the performance mm. is now meaningful. And, and in some cases going in advance Quicker. Of, of the yeah. original, the OG. Mm. Some of the problems are that there's, is where to charge them, how much charging you've got. Is, is that all catching up now? No. Not yet, no. So, look, range anxiety and stuff like that is not really an issue if you live around town. Mm. So if you drive around like we do, backwards and forwards from work, that's fine. Yeah. But I can tell you, having driven further afield, yeah. out into the country, longer road trips, it's not so much that you're going to have a flat battery on the side of the road, it's how you charge and where you charge. Mm. We need more infrastructure in Australia, we need more charging. So basically what you're saying is that this suits the latte sipping in the city types like Sarah. <laughs> um, but, if, but as soon as you go to WA or Queensland, Correct. it just it's ain't going to work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have <laughs> seen, like Toyota, there's a, there's a few um, companies coming out now with utes mm. and the electric charge. Are, are they anywhere near the performance? No. They, what they're going to do is they're going to dip their toe in the water, but commercial vehicles like dual cabs, vans, heavy vehicles, they're the hardest to convert to electric because when you add range, you add weight. So the bigger the battery pack, the heavier it gets, which detracts from its ability to do its job. We're all heading that way, though. Yeah. Uh, more and more. I think whether we like it or not. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Put on your train. I think you saved Sarah some money there. <laughs> or cost us some. Stay more away. lattes, apparently. <laughs> Stay away from the Porsche, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with us. More of today right after this. The news is up next. I'm just going to go claim my car, actually. I've got to tell you, Sarah. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?